Hi, I'm Tony, the crafty old Belgian, and today I'm making this Enterprise D from Metal Earth. Hi again. So, a couple of months ago, I built this Enterprise D from Metal Earth, which I then dropped just before I was um, ready to shoot the, um, the final result of this. And as you can see, I had to glue it together, but the glue doesn't stick to it, so I'm left with an Enterprise that's pretty much shot to bits, which is why I've decided to make a new one. So, in case you're unfamiliar with these, they're basically one or more metal sheets with laser cut parts, which you then bend, shape and connect to each other to form a 3D model. They come flat packed in these cardboard sleeves, and they also contain a set of instructions that tell you how to put the whole thing together. So just like any other model kit, you just cut the parts off the sprue and assemble it. So only in this case you don't do it by gluing, although I'm gonna come back to that while I'm building it, but by bending and twisting some small tabs which you can see here. So as for tools, the only things you really need are a pair of tweezers, some snips to cut the parts of the sprue, and that's pretty much it actually. I also have this wooden stick here just in case I need it, and like I said before, I do have some CA glue and baking soda ready just in case. So I also have this metal lid here with a couple of magnets on it which is going to be handy later to put the thing on it so it sticks because this thing is very heavy on the saucer part which is why it leans over to the front and that's also the reason I dropped it the last time so uh, I'm going to be careful this time so anyways enough talking time to put this thing together okay so I'm not going to talk through the whole process that would get pretty boring pretty quickly I'm just going to jump in here and there where I think I need to. So uh, enjoy the build.
So from my previous build I remember this part carries a lot of the saucer's weight. So to prevent too much strain on the tabs and possible movement, I glue them down and add baking soda which turns it into some kind of rigid plastic almost instantly. Okay, so um, here's the saucer I built. So this part took me about an hour to um, to make. As you've seen in the build, um, some of these parts are really finicky and uh, somewhat fiddly, but I managed to put the thing together anyway. As you've also seen, I've added some CA glue and baking soda to some of the parts, just because I wanted them to be somewhat extra stable. So yeah, that's part one done. So part 2 starts with the base here, that's going to carry the whole thing, then the main hull will be attached to this. And of course, I have to drop my tweezers again. This happens every build. And his base and stand all finished.
So here I'm attaching the hole to the to the stand, which has to be glued down. Otherwise, it'll break clean off because of the weight of the saucer. So I have to apologize here for the uh, jump cut. I seem to have lost the footage of me assembling the hull and attaching it to the saucer because of a faulty SD card. Sorry again. Anyways, here I'm finishing up the uh, nacelles, which are the last part of this build. Okay, so here it is, the Enterprise D. So I finally fi managed to make one without having to pick it up off the floor. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Um, as you can, as you would have seen during the build, I've um, there were some places where I really, really, really needed to uh, put some super glue and some baking soda because these things aren't really that stable when you just put them together like you're supposed to. They're gonna fall apart sometime. So anyways, just to keep it nice and steady so I can actually display it somewhere. I've added some glue and baking soda. Anyways, that's it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel. Thanks for watching, take care, peace out.